Hi, so for this make and take, what you will need out of your kit is your Pool Party base cardstock. You will need the designer series paper with the animals on it. You'll need the piece of Whisper White cardstock and you'll also need the piece of Pool Party cardstock as well. And you will need your Cherry Cobbler ribbon. Let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and stamp in Pool Party ink or a coordinating blue um, your Christmas message. For this one I'm using Sweet Little Stockings um, stamp set. Now you'll find the piece of Whisper White that you have in your kit is slightly bigger and that is if you do make a mistake you can actually have another go, turn it over, whichever you like, but you will need to trim it. So stamp first and then trim. So now that I have trimmed my greeting, what I want to do, I haven't trimmed this part because I want to create a banner. So now I have created the banner. What I'm now going to do is take my multi-purpose adhesive and I'm going to glue that now to my piece of pool party cardstock. Again, I'm now going to trim this cardstock, but just leave a little bit extra so I can reform that banner at the end. So here you'll see I have trimmed, but I have left off the excess. What I actually want to do is recreate that banner. So I'm coming in to the center, leaving a little bit of an edge on all three sides. And now I have duplicated the banner shape. Pop that aside and now go ahead and glue down your piece of designer series paper. This is just going on a slight angle so you will just leave a little bit of an edge on the corners and a little bit more onto this side here. Just using your Tombow or your tear and tape adhere that to your base card. Okay so now we have that ready to go. We have our words ready to go. What you will need to do is just trim a piece of your ribbon. You will need a piece long enough to actually just fold over and glue together. So using your tear and tape, what we're going to do is place the adhesive into the center. Folding it over just slightly on an angle. I will just trim the ribbon to neaten up any frayed edges. Turn it over and add some more tear and tape to the back. Now this gets positioned about there and then we're going to add dimensionals to our words to raise them up over the top of here. So just allow a little bit of a gap so that you don't put the dimensional on top of the ribbon. So I'm now adding my words like so and that is our card done. Thank you.